first step is you get all the ingredients ready. So what I've done here is that I have And where, while you've put everything in, you're going to put beef, beef uh, stock. I'm going to add uh, olive oil. Basically, you put two, two teaspoons because you don't want it to be too oily. Because when you put in the beef in, the beef itself has oil. Just waiting a little bit for it to heat up a, before I add the, the beef on. And the way to try if you want to know if it's ready is you take salt. Ah, it's hot. So I'm going to dump everything, but you don't want it to splash. So Normally this is going to be like five or two minutes. You let it steam a little bit and you turn it around before adding the rest of the stuff to it. Oh, it looks so nice. It's now I'm going to start with the onions. So I'm going to do it step by step till I put everything in. And in, when you make onions, it's like one and a half cup. Carrot supposed to be half a cup. It's going to be the mushroom now. Dry mustard. If you don't have dry mustard, you can use the fresh one. But it's not the same. It's better to, to look for dry one because it has a different texture to it. So I'm going to add the bay leaf. And I'm going to add the thyme. Cinnamon allspice i'm going to add that on and you mix everything together everything is looking so colorful and so beautiful so the next step now i try to use the spoon to break the um the beef because it's kind of like chunky yeah you don't want it to be too chunky again that's how it looks so now is to add the beef stock so once that is add on, normally you have to make sure that it covers it. I use a uh, uncertain. I prefer that, and I prefer to just put salt here. Because the weather is so hot today, so the I'm gonna go in a circle. When I mix it, I go like that. And then I go like uh, like this, just to break the, to break it. So I'm gonna dump everything in. You keep on going, moving the, the bowl in a circle so that you can get everything in. See, it comes like a, a crumble, like bread crumble. And the reason why it didn't get too mushy or too watery is because I didn't mix the, the butter and the egg too long. I mix it too long then it's kind of, it's going to be too uh, sticky. As you can see, that is done. So it's almost like a disc by the time you finish. Uh, So I'm going to put this in the fridge for overnight. I don't have a pastry that I need to use now. I was supposed to roll it out to any shape. From the one I bake, I make oval. Some of what I normally use. Either you use, you use it in this one. So um, I'm going to go add salt into the, the filling that I'm making. And then I'm going to turn that off to show you the finishing product. And normally when you add in salt, it's like um, one teaspoon. So I'm going to add some pepper to it. I'm adding the pasta. I've turned the heat off and I'm going to add the breadcrumb. So going to cover it. That is all making the filling. The filling is already done. But I'll show you the finishing touch of what I've done. Once the filling is in, I roll out the second batch of the uh, rock pastry. I put it on top. 
and then I use my hand to press it down. Take a little bit of water, use your tongue, stick it into the water and just put it like this. You don't go into the merry-go-round of using some special thing to cut the edges. I just go with my hand like this. I take all the left, the remaining, the overflow uh, pastry out and I put it aside and then I take the finishing end out that I'm going to use to cut out whichever shape you want. Not only, I normally do maple. So once that is done, I cut a line in the center. I go like this and I go like this so that when it's steaming, the steaming comes out. So then once I've done that, I cut all my shape and I place them on. The next step is that I will take one egg. I'm going to do egg wash. Basically, egg wash is when you put all the pastry in and you will put the cover, you put your shape on, so you break one egg and then you take whipping cream, a little bit, don't put too much, and then you mix it. So you mix it together, then you brush it on, on it. And then you, you go to the oven, you set it for 425. And once that uh, 425, meaning that you're going to put the pastry into the oven for 15 minutes. Make sure you set your alarm. You don't want it to go too far. So set your alarm for 15 minutes. Once 15 minutes is done, you go back. You're going to, t you're going to reduce the heat to 400. So that's how you cook it for 25. And if you think it's, the heat is too much, you take a foil, you cover it up. You use foil to cover it up so that um, while you're baking it, you cover it with a foil so that it doesn't um, get too brown. So you want it to look that golden kind of looking. Uh, so that's what, so this is what you have.